The manual clutch uses brake fluid to pressurize the hydraulics. It gets this fluid from your brake reservoir. When bleeding your clutch, make sure to use fresh, unopened brake fluid. You can access the master cylinder reservoir by removing the front cover panel by lifting up by the two red arrows. Clean around the opening and remove the cap to the reservoir, red arrow. There are two lines attached to the reservoir for the manual clutch. The upper is the return or bleed line, red arrow. It is held on by a hose clamp, blue arrow, and should be checked as it is rubber and replaced as needed. This line does not actually have any fluid flow through it, but it is more of an emission regulation system. The supply line is the lower line, green arrow, and is a friction fit. If you do not have a power bleeder, you can still bleed the clutch, but you must make sure to check the level of the fluid in the reservoir and never let it get below the supply line. If it gets below the supply line while you're doing this, you'll be introducing air into the system and have to start over again. If you have a power bleeder, fill it with clean, fresh brake fluid, green arrow, and then attach the bleeder to your reservoir, but do not pressurize it yet. Working under the vehicle, locate the bleed valve on the top of the slave cylinder indicated by the green arrow. Unless you are replacing the supply line, you do not need to touch it, red arrow. You may have to move the shift linkage, blue arrows, around to get access to the lines. Since it's almost impossible to get a good picture of it in the vehicle, here is what the slave looks like. The supply input, blue arrow, the arm, red arrow, and the bleed line. You're going to pull the line off of the bleed line and attach a bleeder hose and catch bottle to it. The slave cylinder bleeder has a built-in valve. If you only open it one to two turns max, it will allow you to bleed the system without allowing air to be drawn back in while you are pumping the clutch pedal. If you are going to be using a power bleeder, you will need to block the bleed line from the master reservoir. Porsche sells a very expensive tool for this. If you do not block the line when you pressurize the system, all of the fluid will pour out from this line. Now, with the bleeder valve open one turn and the bleed line from the reservoir blocked, pressurize the bleeder to around 15 pounds or one bar, red arrow. Now, slowly pump the clutch pedal while bleeding. You will need to pull it up from the floor while doing this until you build up some pressure in the system of the arm pressing against the throwout arm. Do this until you have a proper clutch pedal feel and the pedal is returning from the pressure in the clutch. Once the pedal feels correct, close the bleeder valve on the slave cylinder. When finished or topping up brake fluid, make sure to depressurize the system, blue arrow, before opening or removing the cap from the reservoir. Remember, brake fluid is fatal to your paint and you do not want it spraying everywhere. Reattach the bleed line from the slave to the reservoir and you are done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.